Hi, everyone. Tony Costa here from Toronto Apologetics. Uh, glad that you could join us. Uh, this video is not going to be super long, but um, I just wanted to share um, a small clip um, of a King James only pastor who, um, who I actually, I actually found the video to be quite, quite amusing, um, and and funny at the same time, uh, because um, of the way he presented his case and 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 some of the arguments that he made. So I just wanted to share this uh, brief video with you. And uh, I'll just be making some uh, comments on it. So let's just listen to this brief video. The King James Bible is the word of God, every word of it. Amen. I can take this book and correct the Greek. Amen. So uh, there you have it, folks. Um uh, the, the the King James only pastor says that um, every every word in the in the King James Bible is is the word of God which th which they believe, um, but then he said that uh, he can take the King James Bible and he can correct the Greek text. Uh, so sorry, I I just I just find this video just so amusing that um, the extent that some people will go. Um, to, to claim that that the King James Bible can correct the Greek text when it was the Greek text that the King James translators used to produce the King James translation. And so you correct English translations by the original languages, whether it's Hebrew or Aramaic or Greek, you don't correct the original languages by the translations that came out of those languages. And so I I just think that it is, uh, and, and it's amazing too. I mean, <laughs> the, the reaction, the reaction of, of the people in the church, I found that uh, very, very funny as well, as if somehow they discovered plutonium, that this was such a grand discovery and everyone's just, you know, just amen and, and woo, you know, wow. You know, and and the pastor just uh, you know tugs away at his uh, at his uh, blazer and and says amen. And so I I just thought this this uh, this this I needed that comic relief. Um, but uh, a couple of things, and also if 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 you are uh, if you live in Canada in the province of Ontario, uh, another thing I was going to say was that uh, the, the pastor looks a lot like the, the premier of the province of Ontario, Doug Ford. Uh, Doug Ford is the, the premier of Ontario, the, the provincial uh, leader of Ontario. And uh, I just cannot help seeing the, the, the just the similarities. Uh, I'm not trying to I'm not trying to to be uncharitable here. I'm, I'm trying not to mock this pastor. I think he's a fine, a fine, a fine man. But, but I just thought the the claim that you can use the King James Bible to correct the Greek text of the New Testament uh, that one takes the cake. Uh, and so um, this just goes to show, folks, that when you simply throw all reason to the wind and and you simply uh adopt a a worldview a, a worldview with blinders a narrow-minded worldview with blinders uh and you come to believe that the king james version or the king james bible uh, is the only version of the word of god uh hot off the printing press from mount sinai uh and you commit yourself to that this is what that type of thinking leads to um it is just so wrong. Um, and this is what happens when you throw uh, not just reason, but you just throw common sense and, and research away. Um, and you just get to the point that an English version uh, created in the, the 17th century uh, in the Jacobean era of King James I, that uh, an English translation produced by Anglican scholars and theologians and divines um, can be used to correct the original Greek text. Um, that 
really, really um, takes the cake. Um, but that's the extent that some of them will go. And I'm not a King James only est. Uh, so if you're wondering where I stand on this, I, I, I don't hold to the King James only position. I love the King James Version. It is a masterpiece of the English language, and it was used. God used it uh, to uh, lead his people, um, it, like the Reformers and, and, and so forth in the uh, English-speaking world. Um, but again, again, God has used uh, other uh, translations for over a thousand years. God uh, used the Latin Vulgate to speak to his people. And that was the, the major translation of the Western church for at least a millennium. Um, and so the King James Version was, was the best translation they had at the time based on the available manuscripts. Uh, of course, the Puritans, um, that was not their favorite Bible. The, to the Puritans, they preferred the Geneva Bible that was translated in Geneva, Switzerland, um, in uh, Calvin's time, <clears throat> John Calvin's time. And so a lot of the um, Puritans from England who had fled there due to persecution that had gone to Geneva, uh, as well as John Knox from Scotland, who also went there, um, they wrote an English translation of the Bible. And so the Puritans uh, who had come to, the, to America on the Mayflower, they preferred the Geneva Bible. And one of the reasons why was because uh, the King James Bible, uh, one of the reasons why it was produced was they found the Geneva Bible to be anti-monarchial. That is to say that it's, it spoke of kings as tyrants. Uh, and that was certainly the view that Puritans had. And later, of course, in the United States, in the, the Declaration of Independence of 1776, that would also be the language used in the Declaration that the king had become tyrannical and therefore the colonies of North America decided to break from the crown, the English crown. Um, but suffice it to say, the Puritans preferred the Geneva Bible over the King James Bible. Um, and as I said, uh, they did what they had. They produced what they had at the time. Uh, they did the best they could, and they produced a masterpiece of the English language. But um, they never said, the, the translators never said, this is it. This is the only version of the Word of God that we've ever had. Uh, they they opened the door and 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 possibility for revision, and so when new manuscripts were discovered, this called for uh, a new translation, which they did. And so, uh, anyway, I just wanted to share this a brief video with you. I I I I really really enjoyed it. I just thought, wow, um, that is quite a claim. Uh, <laughs> and so I just thought the reaction of the people was gold as well. So thanks again, everyone. Please uh, don't forget to subscribe to Toronto Apologetics. It's absolutely free. And uh, we will keep you notified of any other videos and uh, lectures and debates and so forth. So thanks again, everybody. Take care. God bless you. Please like the video and share it. We'll see you next time. Blessings.